All right, this is a short video on all the changes in the new version of WeCreate Make It, version 2.0.8. I'll go over as many as I can find and hopefully bring you up to date so you don't have to mess around with it like I did. Okay, probably the first thing that you're going to notice is over here on the right corner used to be all that layer stuff. And you'll see they put it over here on the left corner. Um, I'm sure there's a reason, but I don't know why, but it's over here. Uh, probably because you had to scroll everywhere every time you were on the right side of the screen. So with them moving it over to the left, you don't have to scroll whenever you um, go down to try to get the um, previews and stuff like that. So that's probably a good reason why they put it over there. The next thing is on the right side, you'll see a, a box called Toolbox. If you click on it, um, they've combined a few different things in there. The jigsaw puzzle um, cut pattern is there. Extract image is there. Extract image used to be down here below uh, import. Uh, material testing array um, used to be you would make a square um, here. And then you come up here to array, hit material testing array, and it would do it on that size. Now you don't have to do that anymore. With a blank screen, that, you come over here to toolbox, to material testing array, and it comes up, gives you a preview here. But you can change the size of your boxes down here at the bottom. It says length and width. Uh, if you change that to size of your boxes, it's going to uh, increase or decrease however you want them. Once you get them the way you want them, you hit confirm. And it's there just like you would before. Also in Toolbox is something called Batch Processing. Uh, if you have an image all completed, everything you want for that image to do on the screen, come over here at Toolbox to Batch Processing. Uh, they give you a notice here, parameters directly affect the results. Make sure you got the way you want it before you start. Hit Confirm. Uh, then it tells you to put the big piece of uh, wood in the... Um, laser bed and then put the thickness of the board I don't have any of those size pieces of wood and I don't know if you do but um, put in the depth hit next and then you can put in here um, please measure the out output contour of the image to be processed length width and then how many you want and what I'm assuming this is doing is you have one image say it's an image of a star and it's four inches square. You can come in here and just like you would create a test array, you can make a number of rows, a number of columns, space them out however you want to, and make a bunch of that pattern on a blank piece of paper or, or a blank piece of wood and print them out and get it all done. Um, I have nothing in the machine so the next step is not going to do anything. Um, but that's that'll get you started. You have to play around with it. But that's what I'm thinking it is. Okay, real quick, jigsaw. If you've never messed with it, on toolbox hit jigsaw puzzle. It comes up. You can do the different size tabs, all this different stuff that you can change, and hit confirm. And now you've got this in here. This is all going to cut. Uh, you move it around, line it up on whatever piece of wood it is. Uh, go ahead and port yourself an image. Take your image, stick it on there, line it up however you want to do it. Now when you print it, it's going to cut it into jigsaw puzzle pieces. So you have all these pieces you can put together. Okay, moving up the scale, AI hasn't changed. Pen, there's a few different th changes in pen. If you click on it, it'll give you pen tool tips here on different things to do it. But uh, if you worked the graphic <coughs> programs before, it does what's called bezel curves. You can hit click there, move it over to here, click it, and then once you got there, if you drag this, you can make curves. Different size, different directions, whatever. And then you can move on to the next one. Click again, drag it around however you want to do it. And once you get it all done, you hit escape and it takes you out of there but then you can move your dots around 
and do different things with it. So it takes a little getting used to doing it. Also, things that I do is you can, um, uh, if you want to, uh, you just follow the menu, look at it. But there's a few different things it can do. If you want to do a, a straight line, uh, you can hit the shift key, hit the line, and it'll make a fancy line. Uh, you can mess with it, but that's where it is. And, and, and they've done a few changes on that, which I think once you play with them, this should be good, good to know. Okay, now I may be wrong on this one. In settings, uh, you scroll down. There's boxes here for flat surface processing offset and axis offset, where you can change parameters um, on your machine to adjust the alignment and calibration of the camera. I've never seen it there before, but I don't get in the settings that often, so they may or not or not have just added that. Well, that's all I saw off the bat. Um, there may be other stuff on there. Please, if you know something else that I didn't add on there, put it down in the comments uh, so other people can read them as well. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. There will be more coming.